As chairman of the uh, State Senate Committee of the Republican Party of Louisiana, I'm also serving, uh, my name is Roger Bilbrey, I'm also serving as the uh, chairman of the uh, Louisiana Republican Convention. In accordance with and by authority of the bylaws of the State Central Committee of the uh, Republican Party of Louisiana, Rule 1B, the rules of the convening of the State Convention to elect delegates to the Republican National Convention, the Executive Committee of the Republican Party of Louisiana has adopted supplemental rules which shall be the permanent rules of this State Convention. In accordance with the supplemental rules, the the Chairman and Vice Chairman of the Republican Party of Louisiana shall serve as the Chairman and Vice Chairman of the Louisiana Republican Convention. That would be Roger Billery as Chairman and Tony French as uh, Vice Chairman. In accordance with the supplemental rules, the, the Chairman of the Louisiana Republican Party has appointed Scott Wilfong as the Secretary of the Convention, Louis Gerbich as the Sergeant at Arms of the Convention, and Bo Staples uh, as the Head Teller. The chairman has also appointed Brian Johnson as a parliamentarian. Richard Forston uh, uh, shall serve as assistant parliamentarian. I have also appointed the following individuals to positions of tellers, along with their necessary assistants, uh, uh, which are uh, all the assistants are not listed. But uh, I'd like to list the tellers, uh, Amia Baker, Catherine Dore, Jerry D. Uh, Ingrid, Gina Gore, Jacob Dixon, Rich Lowry, Mike Gabea, Paul Gill, Marcus Johnson, Sandy Hindling, Dusty Cotton. Uh, I have also appointed the following individuals as Assistant Secretary, Jen Parkins, <coughs> Susan Emerson, and Derek Badcock. Susan will also serve as the official timer. I have appointed the following individuals to serve as Sergeant at Arms, along with their necessary assistant, assistance that they have uh, uh, this morning as uh, Assistant uh, Sergeant at Arms. I'm the, uh, the uh, Chair uh, would like to move that the, um, I'm calling on Jeff Giles for the Credential Committee. I have a request for information, Mr. Chair. I just have a request for information. Information, yeah. Uh, uh, the form requirement under the draft rules, what is that, that form requirement? If most of the large conventions I've attended has been at least one half. Can you answer that question, please, Mr. Chair? The quorum requirement is one third. Thank you. Question for information, Mr. Chair, please. Question? Sir, uh, I was wondering if you could elaborate, please, on the requirement for uh, adopting a motion, please. What, what vote would what vote you require? Uh, right, right now, that motion is not in order because we're going to have our reports. Uh, and I would like to call Jeff Giles to give us credentials. Sir, just a point of information, sir. Point of information. information. Point of information. Like a point of information, the chairman, chairman, uh, chairman of the uh, Credentials committee met at the appointed time and the appointed location yesterday and uh, received documents from the state party that authorized the delegates in the uh, convention. Uh, we, there will be no uh, challenges or contests. The Credentials Committee uh, authorized the seating of all the delegates. There was no objection to that. And there being no further business, the, the committee adjourned. It was a very quick meeting. Thank you very much. Point of information, Mr. Chair. That was your answer. This is not debatable. 
there is not debatable. He is the chairman of the rules committee, and I'm asking him to give it. I would ask, I would ask you to sit down and have the floor. We, we told you uh, uh, to sit down. I'm asking you to sit down. Uh, Scott Wilpong will give us a report. With all due respect, sir, you asked for the chair of the rules committee to come up and address this. Thank you. I am the rules committee chairman. I was appointed by the chairman of the Republican Party. The committee has myself. I'm going to ask you to be seated, and um, or I'm going to ask you to leave. And I have you escorted out if you don't leave. This is not debatable. I don't need this. I'm going to ask you to please leave. At this time, I ask you to leave. I'm, I'm going to have you, the sergeant on. Sergeant on, I'd like to have this gentleman escorted out. He's not going to, he's not going to. Please, please leave. I call for a vote to have the chairman There's not.
have to turn the microphone off.
at this time, we are going to meet back on all of that. Everyone to take your seats and sit down. Thank you. 
Hill, District 1 goes to the front left corner of Room B. District 2 to the front right corner of Room B. District 3 to the back left corner of Room B. District 4 to the back right corner of Room B. District 5 to the left side of Room A. District 6 to the right side of Room A. I would ask you to uh, go to your proper area and, and take your vote, and we'll be calling for the, uh, the vote at the proper time at noon. Thank you. We are the convention. Sorry. Come on. You have to go. He, he, he's been elected. He's been elected. This is not he's the sergeant of arms. That's not the sergeant of arms. He's not the sergeant of arms of our convention. He is not. He's, he's been removed. removed. He's been removed. He's not. This is democracy. He's, yes. he's been removed. Hey, don't come this way, though. Okay? Who do you get your orders from? Go this way. Go this way. <laughs> We have a nominee, Vice Chairman. Mr. Davis. I nominate John Culver for Vice Chairman. Second. 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 Uh, what y'all need to do is move y'all elect the delegate. Aye. Elect the delegate. It's right. They can go where they were asked to go. They can go to their district. Is the Vice Chairman. Is, uh, district can you join us? Right side of the room D. And hey. It should be an order for the selected delegates. 
So if they want to do that, they need to do it right now and vote to elect their delegates. Mr. Davis, we are holding our convention in this room right now, and if they would like to participate in the convention, they need to go at this time and elect their delegates. For District 1, front left corner of room B. District 2, front left corner of room B. District 5, left side of room A. John Roberts. 
Brad's going to be here. Harold Williams. Wallace Lucas Sr. Skip Patterson. Here. Roy Salgado. Here. Emil Albright. Here. Alberto Salgado. Present. Install. Present. Amelia Wolf Patterson. Here. Ann Watkins. Omar Cooper. Here. James Kane. Here. Chris Bradford. Here. Benny Domenico. Here. Steve Jones. Here. Tony McGee. Present. Landon Mills. Here. Taylor Trotter. Here. James Westfall. Here. Morgan Davis. Present. Connor Chimble. Present. Teresa Teresa Chimble. Here. Cole Hensfest. Written Troy Blackhawk. Here. We have 25 delegates from District 2 in all the part. SCC delegates.
I, I reported a nomination as the three district delegates, Bernard Smith, Michelle Godin, and John Culver. As the district alternates, the Dennis Turner, David Nada, and uh, David Abadie. Second. 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 Okay, at this time the convention is called back to order. We will now hear the roll call to announce the results of the district caucus. The, the chair will call upon the chairman of each district. The chair will call upon the chairman of each district to start uh, with the one and only purpose of announcing the results of the election of the district delegates and district alternates to the Republican National Convention. If the chairman of the delegation does not immediately report, the chairman shall be deemed to have passed. If the chairman of any delegation passes a second time, the results of the caucus as presented by the teller to the chairman of the convention and the secretary of the convention will be considered official and will be entered into the minutes. At this time, I would like to call upon the Chairman of District 1. Chairman District 1, can you report, please? I, I move that we elect, uh, District Chairman District 1 reports there were no nominations. At this time, I would like to call upon the Chairman of District 2. The Chairman of District 2. There has been a one from District 2 who was nominated and voted on. He was accepted by acclamation. Now, Mr. Wallace Lucas has been elected from District 2. No alternate nominations were submitted. No alternates were elected from District 2. I would like to call upon the chairman of the Chairman, District 3, give your report, please. District 6. Carl, you say for District 6, I'd like to announce the results of our elections for delegates, which are Charlie Davis, Alex Helwin, and Kevin Hussey. Wait, wait, let me repeat that. The, uh, Gwen Bowen, Charlie Buckles, and Jack have been elected from District 3 as delegates to the Republican National Convention. Santa Giotis has been elected as an alternate. Julie Emerson has been elected as an alternate. And Christian Gill has been elected as an alternate from District 3 to the Republican National Convention. Thank you for your report. I would like to call on the chairman of District 4. District 4 chairman, please give your report. Skip Patterson, Brett Davis, Eric Spaghetti, Mike Strange. The three delegates from District 4 are who? Duke Lowry, Mike Collier, Rick Nallen. Those are the three that were elected to Republican National Convention from District 4. These were the delegates. Do you have alternates? Jim Allen. John Kay. Ronnie, Ronnie Remedies. Well, alternates elected from District 4. They will be elected to the Republican, well, they are elected to the Republican National Convention.
There was no nomination for alternates in District 6. There was no one elected from District 6. Now, in accordance with the order of the business, the delegates will shall now conduct the election of at large delegates and alternates to the Republican National Convention. At this time, no member shall be recognized and there is no discussion or debate. We shall begin with the election of delegates uh, allocated to the presidential candidates. We have a second. Executive Committee Delegates. We're going to go ahead and announce 
think that came from any delegates. Of the Louisiana Republican delegation, there were, these there individuals were shall be allocated guest passes to the Republican National Convention. Rule 19. Okay. H, rule 19. Tell me we, H, we need to go and do the alternates first. So we're going to have the alternates to Santorum alternates. We're going to read the Santorum alternates. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. There were some names submitted for written Santorum. Alternate delegate properly submitted. Those names are Clarence Turpin, John Wells, Paul Bess, Obese, B E S S E, Linnell Ruckert, Chadwick Melder, Nelson Cantrell, Mr. Carol Morgan, Olivia Nash, Kim Knight, and Derek Babcock. Okay, there were 10 to be elected. We received 10. We declare them elected and they will serve as alternates uh, at the Republican National Convention. Mr. Chairman, there were five names submitted properly for Romney alternate delegates. Those are Diane Hollis, Ed Markle, Oliver Jenkins, Tom Capella, and Kay Katz. Because there were five positions open and five were, uh, were nominated and submitted properly, those are declared elected and they will serve uh, as our representative of the Republican National Convention. Now we move to the election of the Executive Committee delegates. Mr. Chairman, I have the names of five delegates nominated by the Executive Committee for delegates to the RNC. They are Timothy Teeple, Jay Bass, Robert Livingston, Harold Coates, and Mark Fulwood. I'd like to make a motion. A motion to because we have the exact amount of uh, the executive committee that we had opening, uh, we declare them elected and they will serve us at the Republican National Convention.